Hey, what's happening guys? We are back with another classic circuits you should know. In this case, it is the summing inverting amplifier. While op amps are generally used to amplify, hence the operational amplifier title, they can also be used to sum a number of voltages. And they can do uh, straight summing, they can do uh, ratio metric summing, um, they can do quite a lot of things. But we're going to start really simple here with the summing inverting amplifier. So first of all, to make our inverting amplifier, we need our feedback resistor into the inverting input and the non-inverting input we tie to ground. So that is our standard super simple little uh, inverting amplifier. Of course, whoop, red doesn't want to work. What's up red? VCC and minus VCC. Sorry, I don't know why my red pen's not working. Now, the summing inverting amplifier, then we can take a number of inputs over here, we tie them together, and we feed them into this point here. We'll call this one V1, V2, and this point right here becomes a virtual ground which prevents V1 from interacting with V2. Why? Because remember, this is an op amp. And what are the rules for op amps? Well, no current flows in, and the op amp will do whatever it has to to drive these two pins to the same voltage. Now, since this one is always tied to zero, it's gonna do whatever it has to do to drive this pin to zero. And then you get the result on the output, which we'll call V out. Now, the beauty of this is we can add more. It doesn't matter. V3, V4, we have as many of them as we want. And it will add them up. Now, in our case, we are using a 1K feedback resistor and 1K input resistors to keep the math simple. But if you change your input resistor, you can change the ratio of the current and therefore the voltage that gets through and you can weight the output. But we're just doing this as a straight through example. Why would you use these? Well, they're used a lot in audio mixers, but you can use them in other circuits as well. I highly recommend you go look them up on Wikipedia if you want to know more about it. So, that being said, here is our circuit. This is a uh, TL072, and the pins are pin 1 is our output, pin 2 is non-inverting input, pin 3 is inverting input, pin 4 is negative VCC and pin 8 is positive VCC. These other three pins are simply for another op amp. We're only using one. This is, uh, I'm sorry, I said 1K earlier. These are 10K resistors. Doesn't matter. So this is our 10K feedback resistor between the output pin 1 and our inverting input on pin 2. So there's our output on pin 1, our inverting input on pin 2, and there's our feedback resistor. Then over here we have our two inputs. These are each 10K resistors. They are paralleled together and they feed over here into our non-inverting input, our, our inverting input. Our non-inverting input, pin three, goes to ground. And yes, in this case, the top line here is ground. The bottom line is negative VCC. And we're using my simple little circuit to make that happen. Now our input voltage for the op amp is 12.1 volts. And of course that goes through our dual voltage board and we feed in positive voltage, negative voltage, and ground. So we have all of our connections there. All right. 
So let's bring in the meter. Except for voltage here. And the first thing we're going to look at is our first input voltage, which is just coming from a power supply. I got it set for about one volt. 1.01. Okay. So we plug the ground into the ground rail. And then we plug the positive into the first input. So there we have that one. Now, that's one volt. And if we take a look at the output here. Yeah, pardon my fingers. We get negative one volt because it's an inverting amplifier. All right. So next, we have a slightly dead nine volt battery that is putting out 8.9 volts. So that will be our second input and again we put our ground into the ground rail and then we plug this very flimsy wire into there so we're putting in 8.9 and what 1.01 ish into our circuit. Oh, duh. Put in the right hole, Paul. And there we get 9.81. It has summed up the voltages. So how can this be used as a mixer? Really simple. Replace these standard uh, resistors with a potentiometer. That way you can vary the amount going into the op amp and vary what your output is going to be. So here's the circuit once again. The summing inverting amplifier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys. Please subscribe. Really trying to get to 100,000 so we can uh, pick up some more sponsorships and do some great stuff. Now, before I say goodbye, I just want to share something with you that's coming up here in a few days. I'm really excited about this. This is a little FPGA starter set. So as soon as I download the gigantic... Uh, uh, developing the development session that development software quartus will be getting going on that all right that's it i'm out peace